with Charleston SEO. And today, since we are going to have to do a little advanced work on a keyword category, I thought I'd make a video of it so that it can be used for other purposes on other sites where we do the same things. Today, we're looking for Appliance Repair Atlanta. I've got a customer that wants to rank for this keyword. And since we've done several appliance repair sites, I thought I'd look at this category to see how hard it would be to break into. Um, before I do that, a lot of times I like to go and look at the Google AdWords keyword tool to see what volume of competition we're actually fighting for here. As you can see in this case, Appliance Repair Atlanta has an average of 880 searches a month. The competition is very high for it. Um, that's definitely some volume that we could make some money off of if we could get something ranked for. Um, as you can see, there's a huge volume. When we do Appliance Repair Atlanta, we get about almost 2 million results. And let's walk down and start looking at what we have to deal with. Okay, the number one ranked site that we see at the top of the Google results, which are probably going to get about 33% of the traffic to the page, will be coming to this because it's the most trusted position on the page. Um, people know you can buy spots up here in the ads, but they also know that the Google algorithm is going to put the best choice up here in the number one organic result. And this is Atlanta Appliances Repair.net. So let's go take a look at this site. This site is built in Drupal. I can tell I've already looked at the code. Um, frameworks can be good in that they let you, frameworks such as Drupal and WordPress and Squarespace, some of the other ones, things that let you build a website yourself, they can be good, but they can also hold you back if you don't know what you're doing technically underneath the hood. So let's look at this number one result, Atlanta Appliances Repair. It's not a bad looking site. Let's go to the Google Page Speed Insights tool. This is Google Developer's tool that's going to tell me how fast this paid page loads on both a mobile and a desktop, and it's going to give us uh, scores for certain categories and it's going to tell us how to improve those categories if we need to. As you can see there's much here that needs to be improved and yet it still ranks number one for the category. That's because everybody who's in this category of Atlanta appliance repair is there accidentally not because they essentially knew what they were doing and we're gonna I'm gonna back that up we're gonna show you a little more here. So anyway Obviously, they've got a lot to do with the work on the coding the site. And what this, is a, what this simply means is they're going to give you a score that if your site was very fast and loaded very quick and did everything it should, it would get 100 out of 100 here. As it is, it's only getting 23. Um, so it's going to give you a score as to whether or not the user experience is good on mobile and desktop. Now, they get a very high user experience. That's good. But this is not good. This 23 is holding them down. And there's some things in here that we won't go into right now that should be fixed. That would make this site a lot faster. But yet it's still managing to rank. Um, but when we go to look at its backlinks, I uh, use a special little tool for that. I can tell that even though they're in top position, they got there with only 165 links. You're starting to see this lately. A lot of sites are getting to the top because the sites that used to be there who spent years um, putting you know thousands upon thousands of low-grade links to their site were penalized by Penguin and all that and really kind of knocked out of the rankings and so some of the newer sites where they haven't over optimized and overlinked are doing better but even here if we look at these links these are not what I would deem high quality links um, they are places where you can go and get a link, but some links can hurt your link profile rather than help it. As you can see, when we look at some of these links, um, this is probably a good link, but it's from a directory. Now, if you look over here, you can see there are already 184 links on the page. Uh, Google says that they consider a page to be spam if it has over 100 links on a page. Um, I don't personally own sites that I'm using to link back to my um, client sites. I don't like to see any more than 20 or 30 links on a page because after that it starts to look spammy. And this is looking very spammy to Google. Another thing that's also looking spammy is that you can see, if you look over here to the left, you can see that a lot of these links are coming from the same site. 
Um, it's a directory uh, kind of slash wiki type deal site that they probably have literally thousands of little subcategories like this. And someone maybe tried to hack that whole thing and put up a lot of links from a lot of different pages. But what you'll see if you, you click on these, uh, just found that it's going to pop it up. This account has been suspended. So it's actually slow to pull it. Yeah, there we go. Boom, this account has been suspended. So to start off with, this is a lot of spammy links that they're standing on currently. I'm, I'm amazed that they're at number one with this kind of a link profile combined with this kind of a speed that they're getting over here on the page speed site. Um, that being said, it's the reason they're able to get away with it is because the people that are closely behind them, um, this is actually from their one good link, the Atlanta page, um, but like I said, it has so many other links on here. All these are links that it just kind of gets watered down. Um, and even though this is a great site, you're, you're probably still, this link is not doing that much to help you. Um, it's better than no link at all, but just barely. Um, and some of these other ones, as in this one, you're better off not to have that link on your site. Um, if we also, another tool I use makes me, helps me to look at the anchor text distribution on the links coming to the site. And here's, this This is a good one. Yeah, as you can see, they've, well, I say fairly decent. They are opt over-optimized for the positions you see in the red means that they're using this keyword over here too much. And when Google's looking at the anchor text is the actual text in the web page that's linking back to you. And when Google looks at this anchor text, they want to see if it's related to the site that it's pointing to. And in this case, yes, it is. But that can also be a problem because Google deems a natural anchor text profile to contain a lot of other links here, not just ones that are simply trying to sway their algorithm to pick this up and post it as a result. Um, to them, if someone were talking about appliance repair, you would see other keyword phrases that are associated with it on the page as well and also in the link architecture pointing back to the site. They want to see washer repair, they want to see uh, washer services. Um, it's what they call latent semantic indexing, this tendency of words to show up together on certain page. That's what they're using to judge whether or not this is a naturally organic page or whether someone is attempting to overly optimize a site. And yes, while we need to optimize sites, if you do it too much and you do it too aggressively, there is now a penalty for you being overly optimized, which is why you need to know, you know, which anchor texts are pointing back to your site and your percentages on them. Um, this is a great free tool for that. Um, so anyway, this is the number third uh, listing in Atlanta. Um, this site Apparently doesn't lay out very well on my browser. Um, I don't know if other clients experience that. They may. Um, this is their page speed insights. Um, they have a 64. Um, their desktop is a little better. Um, looks like that's probably the true display. Uh, the reason we didn't show this is... Actually, that was second. This is third. Uh, Mr. Fix, appliance repair. Another one. And there he goes. He's 65 and 88 on desktop. But even though he's slower, even though he is faster on these, and that should be helping him, it's actually not helping him on his site because there are a lot of things in the meta tags. Um, we always look at meta tags to see what's being displayed, what kind of program is being used to, to build it. Um, but I can look at his title tags, here's his title tag, and his description tag, as well as several other tags throughout here. And I can look at the way the keywords are laid out here and tell you that's why they're not competing, because they're not optimized there. And I really can't give it away with too much of that without giving away the secrets of what we do in search engine optimization. But needless to say, this one is not doing it. So to answer the question that started this video, is there opportunity in the 
market for the keyword Atlanta Appliance Repair. And you had better believe there are. If you could put a site here that was running much faster in terms of mobile and desktop and that also depended on good content for its backlinks, um, you should have no problem being able to rank in the top three in this fairly easily, I'd imagine. Um, one of the areas that we do this in is in Appliance Repair Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, which is a little suburb, suburb of Charleston, South Carolina, uh, the resort town. So, yes, if you do Appliance Repair Mount Pleasant, you'll see Appliance Repair Mount Pleasant SC come out on the top, where it has been probably pretty reliably, knock on wood, for about the last two years. Um, we also maintain two other sites for this client that stay at around number three to number two. But this is the one he really concentrates on. Okay, and this is the site, Appliance Repair Mount Pleasant. Um, it's kind of a plain site, but we want it that way. We want, it, we want people to be focused on making the call, calling in, not getting lost and scrolling in a slideshow. And it seems to work well. We have a pretty high conversion rate on this site. Um, as you can see, the page speed insights for this site are way up there. Um, if you could look at our competition in that category, you'd see that they suffer from the same thing that these other sites do in that um, they tend to be low to middle in speed, and that affects their score and their ranking because it affects how fast this site can be delivered to clients. Remember, Google, Google focuses on relevancy and speed. They want to be able to get relevant material to their people fast. So we get a 98 here. We get a 97 on desktop. Um, for certain reasons, we're a little slower here because we have to actually call a Google, Google script in for our analytics. Here we go. And Google does not allow us to cache this. We'd have to go through a special setup. We won't go into that on this lesson. Too much geek stuff. I don't want anybody to fall asleep on me. But anyway, we take care of these things, obviously. And this is part of why we do so well on that site. Another reason is that we don't tend to look for, you know, get our links from these kind of, of sites where it's uh, obviously something shady going on and people either abusing the site or the site not being that high quality to start off with. We get our links from... Uh, content network that we built ourselves and it comes from many different kinds of sites um, most of them having a home-based marketing uh, common theme uh, or you know that's the direction they're moving in doctors real estate anything based around house and home and family tends to market well together and that's why here's one of our sites that we get some of our links back from on appliance repair Mount Pleasant and this is Ion Real Estate, which is one of the nicer communities over here in Mount Pleasant. Um, and I think we right now we rank for about number nine for this one, for this client. But because the clients are all moving in the same direction, these things complement each other. And it makes it look more natural in the Google, Google rankings than just people going around building weird account suspended uh, links to your site and getting paid to do what they call SEO. Um, you have to be careful who you let build links to your site. Um, you don't want people going to these automated sites like Fiverr and these other places where they can spend five bucks and get 500 links. Believe me, those is, are not the quality of links you want. These days, it's not about uh, the quantity of links. It's about the quality of those links. So think about that. And yes, for Atlanta Appliance Repair, we are go if you would like for us to uh, see what we can do for your site. And if you guys would like to look up anything, uh, no matter what part of the country you're in, if you would like, um, oh my goodness, let's, let's say uh, Fort Knox. You can use this same methodology to see what's open in your area and to see uh, if there are any opportunities in your market. And obviously... There are here. Sorry, I got I, the minute I, it pulls up, I'm starting to look. So anyway, and yes, you could rule this real easy. If there were, uh, there's appliance techs. A lot of times you'll see these sites that are sites that are meant to be a nationwide. So they don't really target a local area with their main page, but they will have a category and another category. And at the end of it, 
they'll have the actual keyword that is being indexed by Google in this case. Uh, we're seeing Fort Knox show up here. So when you see something like this where one of the back pages is ranking for that search, that search is wide open almost all the time. So at any rate, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, anyone needs help with ranking for SEO in the appliance repair industry, please give us a call and you can find more of my work online. Thanks for your time.